Happy New Year, guys. This is our weekly TFL fleet update, and we've got a lot going on this week at TFL, starting with this. Check it out. It is a really cool Indian motorcycle. It's the Indian Challenger Limited. I mean, look at all the chrome on this bad boy. It's, well, some of you call it a cruiser, some might call it a bagger, but it is a classic traditional American motorcycle. Indian is now owned by Polaris, so thank you Polaris for dropping it off. And the boys, Alex who's behind the camera, will be doing a full This Just In review over at TFL Bike. Uh, and it's got some pretty cool stuff like, check this out, look at that. It's a little plug uh, for your uh, heated jacket or heated vest, which is a good thing in the winter. And of course, a full on radio. So uh, I think I'm gonna have to take this out. It's in the 50s here in Colorado, but I can't wait to actually get behind the handlebars. All right, check this out. Our friends at Baja Rack just sent us this. It's a little shorty rack that's gonna go right in here. Um, our FJ, a lot of you wondering what's going on with our FJ. And we've got big plans for the FJ this week. Uh, that Baja Rack goes in here, giving a lot more storage. What are you doing, Tommy? Well, I'm currently picking up the dirt that the FJ Cruiser has been dribbling at the bottom. <laughs> well, it is an off-roader. Uh, so the plan this week, and actually we need your help, is we wanna take, uh, hopefully, well, not the FJ, but the Defender to Moab. And we need to know if there's actually snow on fins and things because, well, there's two other trucks that we want to compare. They're, okay, this is all news to me, apparently. Yeah, we're going to Moab. Didn't you know that? No, how yeah. are we going to go to Moab? It's Hopefully the, Thursday. It's the middle of December or it, January. So if, if you're in anywhere in Utah, let us know if there's snow on fins and things because we do want to take uh, the Defender uh, and the two trucks, which I'll show you in a second, and do a comparison, off-road comparison. And what are you doing with... Uh, uh, this defender, Tommy. Well, the plan is to use the dustpan to clean up the dirt that's currently inside the defender. Yeah. And then when the dirt's in the dustpan, I'll probably deliver the dirt outside. So that's the plan with the new defender. You're going to be loading it up and you're going to be taking it to David's farm, right? You're going to do some, some like work with the thing. Yeah, so we're going to put this thing through its paces on the Yak Ranch, haul some hay, haul some wood, tow some trailers, and see how it compares to a little pickup truck. Yeah, so let me show you that pickup truck. Now, as you guys know, if you've been watching, I just... Uh, drove back from Detroit with the very first, and I'm proud of it, sorry, I'm proud of it, uh, Ram TRX in the country. We were the first to take ownership of it, thanks to our friends at uh, FCA. So thank you, Trevor, thank you, Rick, thank you, Chris, thank you, everyone over there, letting us get it at the end of the year. Uh, and what we're gonna do with that is, well, let me show you. We're gonna do on TFL Off-Road, a direct comparison to, of course, that truck, our long-term Ford Raptor. So now at the offices, we have the two, well, I would say most off-road worthy full-size pickup trucks you can buy in America. We've got the TRX and we've got the Raptor. Uh, and we just did a video actually talking about what you get because there's something cool about these two trucks. You know what that is, Alex? I don't. He doesn't know that. They both cost $77,000. Exactly. How cool is that? That's so we're going to well, we did, and we're gonna put up on TFL Off-Road a video comparing what you get for 77 in the Raptor and what you get for 77 in the uh, TRX. And if you wanna see what kind of fuel economy I got, uh, coming back from Detroit, 1,400 miles, uh, go over to TFL Truck. Uh, that video got published today. Now, we do have another new car uh, that was just delivered to us. It's right here. Our friends at Nissan uh, just delivered this, the brand new Rogue. I actually uh, was supposed to go on the launch of this, but because of COVID, that never happened. What ended up happening was that Alex on autos, our friend, went and actually test drove it. So I'm dying to get behind the wheel. This is Nissan's best-selling vehicle now. Uh, and I think they did a good job, actually. Look at it. It's got that traditional V grill. Uh, it's a good-looking uh, crossover, and it's super popular. Uh, now, Tommy just took this off-road, our long-term, well, new to us, but not new truck. It's a 2002 Toyota Tacoma. Uh, and he compared it to this truck right there, which is uh, the uh, brand new 2021. Is that right, Case? Yeah, it's 21 TRD Pro with a manual transmission. Yeah, how about that, man? There's the manual. How rare is that, dude? Yeah, and it's actually pretty cool because it's a nice long throw shifter. Yeah. It's not like some of the really short ones that you find on a lot of modern cars, a little old school. I gotta think that this has gotta be the rarest of rare Tacomas, right? If you want a Tacoma that nobody will have, 
uh, then get yourself this guy. And I'm kind of jealous. What's it like? You know, the problem with the Tacoma has always been that the automatic, well, it doesn't really pair that well, like a wine. Yeah, it right? gears a Yeah, lot. yeah. And you'll be like going down the highway and you'll be like, hey, why am I doing 45? <laughs> <laughs> but does, that, does the manual change that? Yeah, it's actually really nice to be able to pick your own gear and, uh, and not have to deal with it searching around for a gear on its own. And here comes Tommy with a Can-Am. <laughs> so you guys are going to load up uh, the Defender on this? Yeah, the plan is to take this over to David's and we're going to do a little bit of testing with the Tacoma and with the six-wheel Can-Am. All right, cool. Let me see the inside of this thing. I want to see this manual. Oh, yeah, look at that. Well, you guys got nice and muddy today. Good for you. Yeah, and then let's keep going. Um, we have two more vehicles that we need to talk about. Uh, the one that uh, you might be interested in is the Silverado. Andre took it actually to get clean because we're going to be selling it over at TFL Bids. So if you want our long-term Silverado, uh, obviously we just bought two new trucks. We sell the trucks at the end of the year. That is going up on TFL Bids uh, this week. Uh, so uh, Tom Tommy is pulling out the Defender and Andre is loud is doing a um, complete walk around of that uh, Trail Boss Silverado. Uh, we'll be up on TFL bids if you want it. Come get yourself. Of course, a lot of people have been asking about this, uh, which is our uh, mid-sized uh, truck uh, that we actually took off-road again today. It's the Rubicon, there he goes, Gladiator uh, that we lifted. Uh, and we've also had this for a year, but this may become our new shop truck. Uh, it's just so darn useful with the lift with the winch, uh, and that's why we're using it in the video. Sorry, Tommy. Look at my six by six. Yeah, look at that. Very confusing having two defenders. <laughs> anyway, uh, so this will probably become our new shop truck, and we probably will hold on to it a little bit longer. Uh, we've kind of fallen in love with it. So hopefully this week we've got, well, a road trip video up already on truck, uh, an Indian video coming to bike, uh, couple off-road videos uh, and then of course if all goes well it's going to be TRX versus Rebel in Moab if there's no snow. Uh, Moab is full of slick rock which is anything but slick unless there's snow on it. All right guys uh, thanks for watching. Come on over here Tommy. Do you think we'll be able to go to Moab this week? I'm just shocked that we're even trying at the beginning of January. I think it's going to be a snowy Dude, mess. we got a Defender, we got a not that one, the, the regular one, right? Yep. We got a test and we've got two of the premier off-road trucks. We gotta take them to Moab. Okay. Just gotta do it. All right, guys. Uh, once again, this is Roman and there goes Tommy. Uh, uh, thank you for watching and check out TFL Bids. We just sold uh, Tommy Saab. We just sold our long-term F-250. Andre just sold his uh, H2 Hummer. So if you've got a truck and you want to sell it, please let us know. Fill out the form. We'd love to sell it for you over at TFL Bids. See you next time. Ciao.